Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, this morning we're gonna do a railroad spike cross with a cube twist in it. Some people call it a Rubik's uh, cube twist, a Rubik's twist. I think it's just really known as a cube twist. And you've probably seen this done before on handles and stuff like that. I'm just uh, gonna fashion it into a railroad spike cross. Trying to get a couple things ready for the farmer's market coming up. And uh, I got some old spikes here. I got more of them laying around. But anyway, we're going to get to working on these things and see what we can come up with. And if you haven't seen a tutorial, I can show one on how to do it. But I know there's a lot of them out there on just doing the twist, not on the cross. But So anyway, we're going to get to cleaning these things up and start twisting them, twisting them and putting them together. All right, y'all, that'll wrap those up. Last thing I showed was welding them, and then I kind of dusted them off again with the wire wheel. I did two of them. I only showed building the bigger one, and I did another one that's smaller. It's just because you never know what people like. I'm going to have these at the farmer's market, and I sell them. I ship them out to people and stuff sometimes if they want them. But uh, it's not that hard to do this cube twist. It adds a real nice look to them. A unique look. People like railroad spike stuff. And I'll clear coat them now. 
But I tell you, even after I clear coat them, some of that rust will come back in them. Because, I mean, that rust is embedded deep in there. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's no telling how long these things have been laying out on the tracks, you know. And that rust is embedded down deep. Some of the rust will come back, but not too bad. It'll just make them look older. You can grind those welds out, but if you do, you just go end up with shiny metal right there in the middle. And I mean, it's really, in my opinion, you better off just leave it there. I also put a small chain link on the back as a hanger. I just had some chain there. And I just tacked that on the back as a hanger. So anyway, that'll wrap those up. If y'all like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. Come back for the next one, man. We'll see you then.